Hi and welcome back to Cut the Crackle. A couple of months back I posted a video showing my custom build of the Ghostbusters Ector 1 in its original Ambulance Hearst state before Ray transformed it into the famous Ectomobile. One thing that bugged me about my creation was the lack of proper license plates. Obviously when Ray first bought the car it wasn't called Ector 1 but I had been unable to discover the original license plate number. It's impossible to make out in the movie itself and there was no mention of it in either the Ectomobile Owner's Workshop Manual or Ghostbusters Visual History Books. Amazingly, within a day of me uploading the video, I was contacted by a man called Roger Bay, who just so happened to be the original owner of the 59 Cadillac used in the film. Columbia Pictures had read the caddy from him to use in the movie, and now I can actually reveal the license plate number. Roger explained that the license number was actually a prop license plate for New York as the car was actually from Chicago. Roger was even the one to install the red and green lights on the roof of the hearse in honour of the Chicago Fire Department which has a long tradition of using both of those colours on their fire trucks. Better still, Roger had actually been the one to take the photo I had found a low res copy of. Taken at a parking lot in between filming in New York City back in November 1983. Not only did he still have the original photo, but he actually still had the original prop license plate used. Thanks to Roger, I was able to recreate the license plate in a design that I then had custom printed onto Lego tiles, and now my Ghostbusters hearse is complete. I'm still utterly amazed that my video was able to reach Roger and help uncover a bit of Ghostbusters movie history that had remained a mystery for so long. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and as always don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Laters.